and smiles everyone I hope everyone's having a wonderful day so today I'm working on some tags and some journaling cards using using paint samples that you can get basically at any hardware store um, or paint store that carries paint uh, they have them out on display so um, you can pick up a few like I have and uh, so I was starting to do it and realized I need to put my camera on to show you um, how I use these. So basically that's what we're going to do today is work on some of these. So I had started this one so I'm going to finish this one up to start with. And uh, there's many different kinds of paint samplers out there. These, t these ones tend to be a little larger and will make great uh, journaling cards. They're a nice, heavier um, cardboard, so that makes it nice. And it's great because you already have your background began. So this one I was working on. And, excuse me, um, there is different shapes and sizes as you can see um, this one I cut up it was a booklet of different samples so I thought I would try those out like that but I'm gonna try and use stickers and some of my um, um, rub-ons that I have gotten from the stores so that uh, I thought I should use some of these up because I have quite a few. So I'm going to just continue on here. Oh, let me set my timer. I like to set my timer so that I don't go over an hour for sure. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to just glue this on here right now. And because uh, I like that. And as you can see, there's numbers here. I'm going to cover those up, but you can certainly, you certainly don't need to cover them up. I just like the looks of it without the numbers. Maybe another one, I'll leave the numbers as I decorate them. So I hope everyone is having a good day and is healthy and safe and all those things. It was a very busy weekend here at my house, lots of company. So that was very nice to have company. Okay, now I was thinking of putting style as a word down here. And then let's see what we've got for a different... Uh, I have all these stickers that I want to try to use some of them. Hmm. I'm thinking this one right on top might be really cool. Because I'm liking how it has... The darker edges around them. Let's just see what we can come up with here. Because I want to do a music themed uh, journal someday soon. So that's kind of nice. I think I want something a little bit lo longer on this one. So maybe we'll have to say that. Those I, are more kind of a tag. Although that would look pretty up there. We'll keep that to the side for now. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have this. Ooh, 
Actually, those teapots look really nice, too. So let's just open this up. Now, there's a t bit of dimension on these uh, stickers, but not, not a lot. And also, I find with these dementia, d dimensional stickers that you can get, they are the same underneath. So if you want them to be flat, you can actually take them apart and you would have two stickers because they're the exact same images underneath, as you can see. I think I'm liking that. Okay, let's try this first, though, because I have not worked with uh, rub-ons on these uh, paint samplers before. So let's see if it even works. So I'm going to try to put this on here right now. Because it is a bit more of a glossy paint. Well, it's paint, right? So it's a little more glossy finish than you would have with paper, but I'm hoping it works. So you just rub along, try and get all the edges of the letters. Okay, let's see what, how I'm doing here. Yeah, it's coming, but it's taking a little bit of time, and I think it's because of the surface that it's going on, that it's taking a little bit to get it to come off of the plastic. Let's see. How well, we did with the S. Well, come on now. Oh yeah, that's working well. Just rub it a little bit more. Okay, let's see if it'll, how well it'll come off. So as you're working with these, if you find a spot that's not quite down, like I'm having with this, why you just keep rubbing until you uh, get it down so you take I take it off slowly so that if there's any pieces that aren't laying down I can just simply lay it back down and rub over it again to secure it down a little bit up here. That's a pretty fine line at the very top of that. And I just think this E might not be down, but let's see what we get. Okay, is our E is not quite this piece is down. It's a little ragged and I like that look. Okay, let's just lay this back down again and see if I can get that little bit off on the side of the E here. Doesn't seem to want to release. I'll do a little bit more rubbing. It's usually not this difficult to use this, but little piece is not going to come off I don't think but that's okay I don't mind because I like like I said I like this ragged look to the letters it's still gonna look really good yeah that's not gonna come off but that's okay I don't mind that at all Okay, so do we want anything behind our little teacup? See, I really like that teacup on there. I think 
think it's going to be nice just the way it is, right? Because we've got the nice green in the background. So I'm going to just stick that right on there. All right, there we go. I like that. Yeah, that looks really nice. So I'm going to just edge it out because I had put um, some black soot around the music. So I think I'll finish that off on the around the edges and give it a little defined look. So I will have to back these with uh, coffee or tea dyed papers because the back, of course, has the writing on it, but uh, that's fine. Um, easy enough to cover. So there's one. I had done this one a little bit earlier. And I like that. So let's go to a different color. So we'll leave the greens. So this one is styled this way. And I'm thinking I'm going to cut it in half and make two small tags out of this one is what I was thinking. I would do. So let's cut this one in half. Get my little cutter here. See how large it is. So it's five and a quarter. So we go two and a half, two and five eighths. Like it doesn't have to be perfectly in half, of course. There we go. So now we got two tags happening there. Okay, so I think I want to start off these ones with, let's see, some papers, maybe some writing on this one. Oh, that looks a little bit big. Just seeing if I have any smaller writing ones. Oh, I wonder how the yellow would look. No, I don't want that one there. So I think I will just, um, yeah, I'm going to have to rip some of this. We'll use some dictionary papers. And we'll just, uh, I don't know what I did. Oh, there it is. But I'll use this one. So let's just give it a ragged edge here with my homemade tear ruler. Okay, shall we cover up? I do want to cover up the word here, but the other, I wonder if I want to, because I could put a label down here. No, I'm going to just tear this a little bit more, of course, because, let's see, I only want it about this long. There we go. Maybe tear this edge too. Okay, do I want that there? Or do I want it over here? I always seem to be partial to this side. What will be this side? And I wonder if I put a little music. On here too. Maybe a little bit larger one. I'm just going to see if I like any music underneath. I kind of do. Yeah, and I think I'll put a tad bit of music 
underneath. And then the right and then the uh, dictionary page on top. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. So let's just tear that and let's get these on here. I'm thinking I can use glue stick just fine on these. And uh, maybe I'll sew around this one too. Okay, so that right about there. Because this paper is thin enough that, that this glue is just fine for this. So put that about there. Right. Can I put it down? Yeah. Oh, I guess I could have uh, uh, inked around the edges of these, but it looks fine without also. So, put that on there. And now I want to put a sticker on here. Let's see what we want on here. Shall we use this teapot? No, that's too much color. I think I want something more like, yeah, this musical instrument. It's uh, not a bright colored one at all. I also have the, no, don't like those. I don't, yeah, I don't want bright colors, so let's see, let's see. I'm just checking here. I do have these also. They're more tag related, so not those ones. Mm. I have these too, which would be nice, but I think I'm going to stick to one of these instruments. Kind of liking that one or the harp. No, what about the, the, this guitar is nice too. No, I'm going to stick with my first instinct here and I'm going to use this one. it a little bit down because I want to make this into a tag. So there. Now I will basically just cut the edges here but I'm thinking I might want to sew around it first. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to do sewing and then I'm going to cut the it into a tag shape except I'm looking at this and thinking I might want something something right there or there so let's get this down. I got some ta tiny tags down here I think <coughs> excuse me <coughs> yeah, these aren't going to be small enough I don't think what I'm looking for. These ones. Well, these ones might work. Let's see what I got. For these little ones. Okay, not those. Maybe that one. No, I like that one better. The black and white, I think. No. Okay. This one. No, that blends in too much. 
I'm just going to see if I got anything more um, brownish. Although this one's pretty too. Nope, I think I'm still liking that one better. Yeah. Okay. One, I'm going to just have one quick more look. Hmm. No. No, I think I'm going to stick with that one. I'm liking that one. I'll just edge it a little. I'll ink around it. So it stands out a little more. I think I'll do it in the soot. Where's the yeah I like it in the set you can the letters are dark or black so it works yeah all right so I'm gonna put that on there my uh, tacky glue because this is a bit thicker oh come on now I guess it's almost time to change my page okay there I like that there Okay, that's a little better. So, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'll sew around it. I want to uh, back it first, of course, before I cut these and sew it. So we'll just leave it like this for now. And then we'll shape it. I'll shape it later. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Okay, we got red. That's nice. Why don't we try one of these ones? That's what I'm thinking. Again, I think I'll cut it, this one in particular, I'll cut in half and make two tags with it. I think that'll work really good. So let's go. There's my cutter. Cut this in half. That's about two and three quarters. This looks about good. Yeah. There we go. And I'm wondering, I'm going to cut it right up to the edge of this because I think that looks good. It's right up to the edge. Where the paint patches are. Oh, I didn't do that very good. It's not very straight. Don't know how I did that. There, that's better. Okay. Good. I'll do this one too while I'm at it. Line it up a little better here. And the last one. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So again, I'm wondering if I should put uh, some uh, music or oh, dictionary page book page on here or wonder I could also do no I think I'm liking that look I was thinking I might do um, some lace but I'm just curious about one material I'm just curious about this one material see what it looks like on here 
No, I think I'm going to stick with my book page or my music. Whoops, sorry about my head there, guys. Just trying to move my chair in a little bit. Now, I'm thinking I might put that over here because I'm liking the, the uh, words like dried mushrooms, rice paper, sketch, crosshatch. I'm liking that. So I think I'm going to leave that. In fact, I'm going to leave that. I don't know if I'll put any book page or anything on there. Maybe I will just go right to stickers. I think might and uh, keep that showing more. Hmm. No, that's not quite. That's not quite the ones I'm looking for. Let's see what else we got here. We could go with a. No, nope, nope, nope. Oh, we have some balloons. No, not it. I've got a lot of stickers, so I don't think I want music on there. Oh, look at this old camera. That might be interesting on this one. Okay, I'll keep that for a minute out. And then we got some flowers. Well, actually, I like the flowers on there with the purples and the pinks. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. I think that looks awesome, actually. And I think that might be all that one needs, you know. And then again, I got to back it. So, and I'll trim it into a tag and I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm really liking the look of that. Yes, simple but effective. Okay, let's see about this one. I don't know, I don't know. Let's uh, just take this off the plastic so we can see a little better. No, no, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Let's see what else I got here. Light bulbs. That, uh, suitcases are a little too wide. It's really nice stickers. That one's a little short. Or is it? Let's just check it. And it might be a little short, but it might or a little uh, long for this. But it's not. All right, I think this is the one. The lamp post. Oh yeah, I like that. Yes, I do. Again, I don't think it needs anything else at all. We could put a word across, but then the words are here, and I like the word. I'm going to leave it just the way it is, just like the other one. So I basically added just a sticker to each of these. This one I'm going to make into a shape of a tag. I think I will keep this as a small journaling card. Okay, those ones were quite easy. Okay, let's see what else we got in this pile. Okay, we got this these ones with the holes. And I was I'm thinking with these ones you could put something behind each of those peeking through, right? And then we could round these off. Yeah, let's work with this one. Okay, so first I want something in here. It's got to be quite a smaller image. Hmm. You know, 
maybe a stamp. Maybe some stamps would work. Let's check stamps. Let's see what I got here. Yeah, those ones are too big. Those are definitely too big. So round ones, they're too big. Oh, what about these, these birdies? These are homemade ones that I made. Oh, I got two cardinals here. I'm gonna just see what those might look like. I believe these actually came uh, from an old calendar. Oh, I like that. Put this over here. Yeah, it frames those perfectly. Anyways, yeah, this was the back of the calendar that showed all the different months, what was on for that month. So this was like January and this is like June or whatever in the, the bigger part of the calendar. And these were the samples behind. Okay. And I just uh, made them into stamps. I'm going to use those. Those looked really good. So, let's start with filling those in. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'm going to round the corners first. That's what I think I'll do. I just got to find my... I've been crafting most of the day, so I know I'm doing it here. I think my... Uh, yeah. Well, I'll use this one, I guess. I do have another one. Uh, these ones are a bit smaller. I have a half. Oh, there it is. Well, we'll try this three eighths one. If not, I can use the uh, half inch. Let's see what these look like. Yep, those actually work. That works great. So we'll round those off to start with, and then I want to glue these on the back. And then, of course, I'll be covering them, the back. So, this one, I think, a little thicker. So, I think I want to use, I want to use some tacky glue around the edges. So, we'll just put it around the edge of the opening here. And I'm sure to get it. place it in the spot I want that way. Okay. So this one I want. Right. Whoops. Sorry guys. Sorry, sorry. I put tacky glue on the back. I don't know. I think I might have been off camera. I do apologize. Okay. So we'll put that one there. And then this one over here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's going to look really cute. So I'm just going to uh, glue this down good. There it is. any excess glue for now and it isn't going to matter because I am covering that back anyway I just want to oh there was a little bit there okay all right so we have those of course, I'm going to, I want to cover up these here, this here for sure. So I'm going to, what do I want to cover that with? I'm going to think, oh, what about some washi tape? Yeah, let's try some washi tape. I just want to take 
and just, just um, buffing off some glue that got on there, even though I'll probably cover that spot anyway. Okay, so washi tape. Let's see what we got for washi tape that's over here, guys. That uh, would work along there. All right. How about this rose? Hmm, that's not bad. But do we have something more with the blue? Do you have blue, but they're all quite dark. This measuring tape might be okay. Yeah, it could work, but not quite what I want. But I also do like it. I could layer that one. Here's some blue flower. But again, I don't know. Oh, of course, I can't find the end of it. Where are you? I should have folded it over. Oh, there it is. Oh, I like that one better. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. So, I'll just go like that. Cover over this. There we go, and I'll just fold it in the back because we'll be covering that anyway. There we go. You usually do secure the washi tape with a uh, glue stick. But this washi tape seems to be quite sticky, so I will be covering it in the back so that will secure it also. Okay. What do I want to do up here is the next question. Because I have those birds, I wonder, like I want to stick to um, those being a good feature on there, but I keep coming back to these. How about that? Cross. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. Let's see what else we got in here. No, 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 no. None of those. Oh, here's some more of these. Or perhaps I got these leaves. I do have flowers, but I don't think I want flowers. So let's see about, oh, I think these leaves are going to be too long. Oh, that isn't the one I wanted to look at. This is the other one. Oh, there is a word in here that says fly. That's cool for a birds. So we'll just look at that. Let's see. That might work on one. Yeah, that would work, but I want something else on there too. So let's see what these look like. Okay. out here and don't know why okay we're gonna move that out of the way those do look kind of pretty on there I could do hmm except it's a little too large I could go that way with that one and then this, I just want to see. I won't stick them down until, oh, that one broke. That's okay. 
it's a sticker we can just place it let's see about this one first be a little more careful taking it off okay if we go this way this one I'm just gonna lay it there and this one here that I kind of broke I'm thinking could come over the other side perhaps Let's see what it looks like No, that's not going to be. I like that there, though. So maybe perhaps we could do a label or a word. A word. Let's do a word. Okay. Oh, how about this fly word? Would that work up there? I'm going to put that down all the way because I do like that. Oh, yes, yes. And then the fly here. Yeah. With the birds down there. Yep. That's perfect. There we go. There. That works really good. I'm liking it. I do, I do. Yes. Okay. So there's another one. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We can do another. I think they're all basically the same now. We could do one of these larger ones. We haven't done one of those. So how about we do one? This one could go that way and make a journaling card. This one we could cut in half. Oh. Isn't that a pretty color? So we got some browns back here. I think I want to try one of these. That's what I want to do. All right, so I'm thinking this one can cut in half and we could make some bookmarks or longer tags, right? Let's see, let's see uh, how wide this is. So it's five and a quarter. So we go two and a half, two and five eighths to cut it in half. And it will be a longer tag. Hmm. Well, let's do it. Let's do the longer tag. Okay. And we'll work with this one this time, perhaps. Okay. So if we put... a little bit too wide and I think we could put it over that lettering this time. that and then I've got these uh, tags that would perhaps work on here thinking might 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 let's see let's see yeah I don't like 
skin he knows when to go and think. That butterfly is pretty. But I don't know if I like the blue on it. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. No. So this is the butterfly. Where did that yeah? Well, let's see. Let's open it up. We can see what it looks like. If it's I'm thinking it might be a little um, too blue. Again, I'm just going to lightly put it on here and see what I think. Oh, the butterfly matches so, so well, though. And so did these flowers down here. So what I need to do, perhaps, is perhaps I should find put it there in the middle, and then we could put a flower. Okay, let me get the flowers and see if I have anything long and slender that I could use. And we want to match kind of a bluish green here. So I'll just get my book here and find something that might work. This one might work. Let's see what it it's a little short though, I think, for what I want. Yeah, a little bit short. I need something a little bit longer than that. The color worked, but it wasn't quite long enough. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> that one's a little too bright. Again, not long enough. I need something longer. Might be too blue. Let's see, this is gonna fall if I'm not careful. There, we'll just do that. And hopefully my camera still. Sure I am. Okay, let's see what this would do with this. Hmm. Wish it was a little lighter blue, but it's not bad, not bad. Just gonna have a quick more, one more quick look here. See if I have anything that's a little less bluish. This one's pretty blue too, isn't it? But it's pretty slender. Kinda liking that. Yep, either one of those. Or, I'm thinking maybe we could go with um, a whiter something. Flower, white flower. I'm gonna just lay this down here. See what we got. That one's a little too big. It would I'd have to put this over top of it, which would be okay, I guess. Let's see, though. We'll see if we've got anything else that might work. Hmm. Nope, that's too short. That one, no. I'm thinking I'm liking that blue. I think I'm going to stick with the blue, I think, would be the best bet. Yeah. Not that one, that's for sure. Give it one more try here. Oh, that's so pretty. I might just put that on there and forget about the tag. I could do that and put a butterfly instead of this tag. I'll find a butterfly that's similar to that color, maybe. Yeah, I really like that flower on there. So we're going to go with that flower. We're going to change. That's the thing when you're creating. You can change at any moment. 
change your mind on what you want to do, right? Which is wonderful. Okay, let me get my butterflies here and see if I can find a butterfly that I want to use. Okay, it's close to this color. So here's the colors. I think that's the only colors I got that are. Those are birds. I don't want a bird. I'd rather have a butterfly. Oh, there's these ones too. Yeah, nope, not that one. And I got these ones I've cut out. What about this copper? No, I don't want the uh, um, shine of those. Will not work well. What's this one? Well, that could work. Oh, we'll take those flowers away. I'm not going to use those. I should have put them back. Okay, or we've got... This one looks interesting, too. So we can put that up like that. Put a butterfly in here. That one. There's, let me see what else I got here. Also this one. Nope, don't want that one. I need one small enough. That one's too big. I thought I had some other... Oh, here they are back here. Yeah, I had some other similar color butterflies, but they're more... Um, a sticker. These are not a sticker. Well, let's just go back here real quick. See what we got that might match. Well, that matches really well, but it's a little bit big, darn it. Darn it, darn it. What do we got down here? That one blends a little too much. Oh, I didn't think it would be this difficult to find the right butterfly but sometimes oh that one's pretty good uh, sometimes you gotta try a few to find just the right one because I really like that one too but it's a little bit big darn it what's with the little bit too bigs today hey okay Pick again. Hmm. What do you guys think of that one? Kind of like that. Or we could go with the more brown. No. And then there's this. It's too big. That one's a no. Uh, this is perhaps okay. I'm going to try a couple more and then we're going to make a choice. I just got to quickly look through, see if there's anything that catches my eye. It's kind of cool too. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Too big, too big, too big. Nope, not right colors. And that is too shiny for what I want. So I think that is about it. I'm just doing one more quick through. Um, we could go completely different and go with black. No. All right. I think we're going to go with one of these that I have already gotten out. That one is a no. This one's kind of cool. This is very different. 
in two tone. Kind of liking that. Wish it was the other way though, the blue on there. And then we had this one, which I think might be a little too big. We have this one, which I think might be actually a little too small. I'm too fussy, too fussy for myself. I think we're going to go with that one. I think that was the first one out of all of these. Well, no, this one was, I guess. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. Okay. So we'll just get these, just put these back real quick. Get them out of the way. And we'll get this put together. Sorry. <laughs> I found that at the last second there. I thought I'd check if it would be better, but it's not. So we're going to stick with this one. And it ends up it is a sticker. Okay. So let's get this put together. And we will uh maybe we'll outline. We'll do black soot again. Because those leaves have a darkness to them. So I'm gonna go with uh Use my little handy card here because it's pretty thin paper. So it helps to put something behind it when you are inking. Makes it more sturdy. at all. We'll give it a shot. Try and take it off. And then that will be the next test is how well this will come apart. It doesn't always do so good. Sometimes you can get them off really easy, other times not so much. But we're going to hope that it just comes off just then day yeah okay the edging looks good let's get this glued on where did I get put my glue book oh there it is tear that off get this on there Okay, now let's hope this comes off easily enough. I'm hoping. Come on, be nice. Oh, I just about had it. Oh, I get my fingernail in there and then it slips back out. Come on, be nice. Oh, that looks fancy. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yep, I did. Hey. Okay, let's set this across here. That. 
a little wrinkle getting in there because this is a bigger sticker, so I don't try not to get too many wrinkles. I got one, but that's it. Oh, there, I got it out. Okay. So then we'll just fold those over the edge like that. And then we'll take this, which is also a sticker. Put it across. And I don't know if I like that silvery trim around it. I'm wondering if I try and take this apart. No. Not going to work. Well, maybe it will. I'm going to take this off this and just glue it on. That's what I'm going to do because I'm not liking that silver so much. So I can save that for another project. And then just use this part. Yeah. Great. So I'm going to cut this little bit here because the uh, just too much plastic outer, outer edge to it. So we'll just cut that off a little bit. Okay. So this I'm going to put uh, tacky glue on because I don't trust my uh, glue stick on that. We'll just use this smaller one. Come on. Oh, there goes my timer, so I guess time is up. And just just when we were finished finishing up, I was uh, thinking this would be enough for today, and it is. So I'll just get this on there, and we'll have a final look at the ones we got done. This on here. Downward bit. There. Okay. So I'll edge around. Well, I can do that real quick. Just edge around here. Oh, I'm going to put a little more glue on there. So it'll lay flat. I know it does kind of look cool like that, but it'll get caught in a book, so I'll just put some glue under that. Okay. I'll just use my big glue here. Put it right on the page. There. There we go. Okay. So, again, I will be backing this, so I think I'm going to Put this into a longer tag this is what I'm going to do with this one so this is some one way you can use these uh, paint samples I think they really make a nice background so we made this one which uh, took a while to find the butterfly but it's perfect butterfly for there then we did this one with uh, putting the stamps on the back to show through the pit, through the holes here, which I thought turned out really good. And that says fly. And I am going to edge this also. And uh, then we did these ones, and simple as putting a sticker on them because they were really kind of cool just the way they were. Again, I'll probably make them into tag, small tags. And then we did this one, which I am going to make into a tag. And then these two, this journaling card, and I had made this one before I remembered to put the camera on. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and that I gave you some ideas for those paint strips that we all can get our hands on. 
So I want you all to have a lovely, lovely day and a very crafty kind of day. And please remember to subscribe and like. It'll help my channel grow. Bye for now.